there, it's Kate from the Center for Arts and Technology talking to you today about the pet rabbit. Rabbits make a great addition to any home. They have an age expectancy of approximately 8 to 12 years. Uh, there are more than 60 breeds of rabbits, so finding which breed is best for you. Um, popular, there's the Rex, the Dutch, Netherland Dwarf, Holland Lop. There's many different options and colors and sizes. Um, but we'll go ahead and talk about their habitat. The general rule for enclosure is that it is, uh, should be four times the size of the rabbit's body. It should have a wire top for air circulation and a solid bottom. Some cages come with a wire bottom uh, that can be quite wearing on their bottom um, pads of their feet to become quite sore and irritated. So we recommend a solid bottom. Substrate options, there is popular choices being recycled paper, fleece, you could use hay or straw. If you want to use shavings, stay away from pine or cedar because they can um, harm the respiratory tract. So aspen would be your option if you were looking for shavings. Having a spot for their litter, fresh water, spot for their food, and an area to hide in the wild they burrow in their den so they need somewhere safe to go. Um, a hay rack or somewhere to put their hay is important as well because it can get all over the place. Uh, and hay makes up 90% of their diet. Hay is very important, they are herbivores and they need to keep their digestive system flowing. Um, so they need to have unlimited access to hay. Another part about hay that's why it's important as well is that uh, rabbit's teeth continuously grow. So the mechanical action of chewing on hay all day helps to naturally wear down the molars and the incisors. Sometimes they still become overgrown and will need to be um, trimmed at the veterinarians. So 90% of their diet is hay. The other 10% can be made up with pellets, fruits or vegetables that are safe for rabbits. They're pretty low maintenance. Um, so that's probably what you would have to do at home is just the nail trims and just making sure your rabbit's healthy. They do have fragile spines. So always taking care when you're picking up a rabbit and holding a rabbit that you're holding them so they feel nice and secure and they're not going to jump. They have very powerful back legs and if they kick those back legs out very really hard, they can actually injure their spine. So just making sure that they're held nice and tight and when you're putting them down, just going very slowly and gently and putting them down so that they're not spooking and kicking back. They're sweet, they're entertaining, um, they're affectionate, they have all sorts of neat little body language. Um, they do little thumps when they're scared or warning something is coming. Um, something called binky, which is with their, if they're super excited, they just start leaping up straight in the air and kicking their legs out and twisting their body. And um, yes, yeah, so they have a lot, a lot of neat little body languages um, and communication techniques. They do require out of cage um, exercise. A cage, they can't stand there all the time because that's not stimulating for them and they're not getting their exercise. So making sure that your house is bunny proofed. They like to chew, so making sure your cords are away. Um, you might need to block off an area to keep them away from a certain thing. They like to chew on baseboards, so always supervised. Ways to enrich your bunny's life, make things more interesting. Um, you can add in um, some wood chew toys, um, take them outside on a harness, um, for some fresh air in the grass, um, having daily outdoor exercise, just giving them lots of love and attention. But overall, they make great family pets. If you're interested in learning more about our veterinary hospital assistant program, visit our website, digitalartschool.com. Thank you.